Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Somebody praise Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Father Lord, we thank you for this morning. It is the first of the month of September. We give you praise. We give you honor. We adore your holy name. Because before and after you, there is no other God. You are the God of all ages. You are the lily of the valley. You are the rose of Sharon. Hallelujah to the King of kings, to the Lord of lords. We worship you. We glorify your holy name. Because you are God, we celebrate you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' awesome name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let's think quickly before we start. And today is a different day. We thank God for being alive. The first Sunday of the month. First Sunday of the month of September and the first day of the month of September as well. God is man is so mighty. God is able. It's abundantly mighty. And is abundantly able to deliver all of his children. So welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to pray, I mean, sing a song of uh, praise worship. I mean, a thankful, a thankful heart song. Amen. It says, now thank ye all our God. Now thank we all our God. With heart and hands and voices. Who wondrous things has done. In whom the world rejoices. Who from our mother's arm has blessed us on our way. With countless gift of love. Amen. And still is ours to Today. Amen. Amen. In another language, quickly, it says, I fall where for love, look on at the look, and show ya no, no any that I gain your back. I will love more. Oh, now, Lord, told you why. Oh, see, fair boy, if I she told you why. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Now today we want to talk quickly about walking in righteousness before God. How? We can't do it though, <laughs> except the Lord builds the house. The builders are doing in vain. Amen? They will never do in vain. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Come with me quickly to the book of Psalm 18. Psalm 18, we're starting from verse 19. Psalm 18, verse 19. And he said, he brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Hallelujah. Walking in righteousness, God will be delighted in us. Because that's all he wanted his children to do. To take his full step, do what we can do, even with our body of flesh. Are we doing it? Are we working in righteousness? Or we are compromising the righteousness of ourselves and even people around us? How can we work in righteousness? What is righteousness? Being truthful, obeying the commands of God, the Ten Commandments. It, it seems like it's so hard, but one day at a time, 
Lord Jesus will guide us on in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Walking in righteousness, doing the right thing at the right time as a Christian and as led by God and the Holy Spirit and through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And it says in 20, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. So, the wages of sin is death. And then the wages of righteousness is what? Is God being delight in us and everything we lay our hands on, we will prosper. There is a, a, a theologian who says, his name is John Calvin. And he says, um, unconditionally, universally, worldwide, we will all have salvation. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? And that's how God has ordained you from the beginning. He predestined you. I to everlasting life, salvation, without any string attached. But what does it take for us to get there when it's free? If we do otherwise, you see, it says, we need to be righteous. We need to obey that legacy he left for us. He's predestined it. Salvation is for you, me. We have to tap into it. By walking in the righteousness of God, doing the essentials as Christians, service of benevolence, avoid bad biting, go in Galatians 5, 19 to 21. You will see there everything we need to abstain as Christians. You have to abstain from them. And John Calvin, again, he says salvation is universal. It's for everybody. You hear me? And not only that, but if you refuse to obey and walk in that, uh, the, uh, the precept of God has laid down for the universality of salvation. He said you become a reprobate. Hey! A reprobate mind, that means you, the person, it won't be our person, is destined for hellfire. What are we going to do? It's not our portion, it's not my portion. It won't be anybody's portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And that being said, how do we avoid being a reprobate mind, a damned soul for hellfire? Hmm. Do your research. And it, let me finish reading verse 20. And he said, The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands. And recompense it. He recompensed me. He will recompense you. He will recompense I, according to the work of my hands. I said it before. And finally, in verse 21, for I have kept the ways of the Lord. Mm. Are we keeping the ways of the Lord? Or we're leaning on our personal intuition? We think we know better than God. We think we can do anything. Except the Lord builds the house. Except he strengthens you. Except he strengthens me. We cannot do it. We cannot do it. We cannot survive. Except we build our home, our life upon the rock. And for I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not wickedly departed from my God. Hey! Do you know what it is to be wicked? You see the truth you can tell. You fight, the truth tell us. You're mad at them because who told you to be telling us all these things? We don't care. Please care. We don't want to go to hell. I care for you. And I care for me and my household. May the Lord lead us there. May we never be a reprobate mind. May we walk according to the precept of God, according to his commandment, according to how he has laid it down and predestined us for salvation, not for hell. Therefore, let us walk in the precept of God. Time for prayers. Begin to thank God. Begin to worship him. Begin to honor him. Tell him, Daddy, I am ready. You brought me forth in a light place. He delivered me because I delighted in you. Walking in the presence of God, he will be delighted.
His delight will be yours. His delightness will be yours. He will be delighted in you. And he will be delighted in me. I'm not going to miss that. He will be delighted in me and my family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to thank God. Begin to pray. Tell Papa God, Father, I want you to be, de to be delighted in me and my home. In my children. In my husband. My entire life be delighted in us. In the name of Jesus. Take us to a, 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 a pleasant place, oh Lord, and deliver us so that we will continually outstep, out we will continually outlive everything that is hindering our blessings and hindering our testimony to work in your presence. In the name of Jesus, in verse 20, and reward us, O Lord, according to that righteousness. We can, we can profess we are righteous, but teach us together, and then reward us according to the cleanliness of our works. In the name of Jesus, and recompensate us in the name of Jesus. In 21, we have kept the ways of the Lord, and forever we will depart from wickedness. From today, the joy of the Lord, your priesthood will be our delight, and so shall it be. Aim for you. And for me and for all my viewers in Jesus' name. It seems like <laughs> salvation is real, my sisters. Heaven is real and hell is real. Decide today who you want to be with. Do you want to serve God to lead you to heaven on that day? Or do you want to be a product of hell? It's never going to be your portion. It won't be my portion and my home in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Share this video with somebody. Let them hear the word of God and obey. Circulate it for the salvation of souls. And guess what? You are blessed. And the salvation, it will be free for you. Unconditionally. No string at all. Because you're faithful. You walk in the righteousness and the precept of God. Free will of God will guide us there. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. The sovereignty of God. He will never suffer us to be moved to hellfire. In Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Happy first Sunday of the month. Happy first of September as well. You are blessed. And I am my household. We are blessed. See you next Sunday. Same time, wait for me. You see, if we didn't get caught off, my computer is getting better. Come join me. From East Coast in America, 1130. 11 to 11 30. Wait for me. Don't leave me alone. I can't be alone. I can't do it alone. Amen. <laughs> Emma says, Emma 33, except you work together, nobody can work alone. Amen. Amen. Journey together for the grace of God. And Central 10, Pacific Time Zone, 8 a.m. If you're coming from West Africa, come at between 5 30, between 5 and 5 30. East, East Africa, between 7 and 7 30. You're coming from London, 5 to 5.30. Wait for me. Join me and be blessed. You're coming from Italy. Join me at 6 to 6.30. You're coming from Asia, 9.30 to 10. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Don't forget, share and save a soul. Thank you for your patience and thank you for joining me. See you next Sunday. Peace. Shalom.